minutes. And uh, we didn't uh, really aim to be the first team to be presenting, but uh, you know, the, we are the first, so we don't have a choice. But anyway, I, uh, Filmy Flix is, uh, in, uh, uh, aims to bring Indian movies to a global audience in a whole different way. Uh, so the agenda for this evening, put a slide show more topics. We, uh, in, as a run-up to this weekend, we've done a lot of work, uh, and uh, so we hope to walk you through the business model. And also, we've done some user validation as well. Uh, surveyed about uh, 230 users uh, in terms of uh, the usability of this uh, platform or, or the app, if you will. And also, we'll give you a we built a Facebook app, uh, so we'll give you a live demonstration of that uh, towards the end of it. So, okay. Uh, you know, while the you know laptop actually takes some time to catch up with me, uh, let uh, how many of you have watched Indian movies online uh, in the theater or wherever? Okay, so uh, okay, I see some Indians and non-Indians. So good. So uh, the Bollywood, as it is popularly known, produced, uh, creates, or you know, uh, spits out about 2,500 movies on an annual basis. That's a heck of a lot of movies. For three or four times the size of uh, you know what Hollywood uh, you know produces and releases uh, on an annual basis, but for all the quantity that it produces and the global population that uh, of Indians that exist, unfortunately, it's completely fragmented. There isn't uh, there isn't a way to uh, monetize uh, content. Uh, most of the owners, uh, the content ownership is extremely fragmented. So most of them uh, don't look beyond theatrical releases. To actually monetize their content, right? So uh, we started off as the Indian version of Netflix that was going to focus on bringing a uh, digital platform across a variety of uh, set-top boxes, gaming consoles, and televisions, uh, connected televisions, as well as on the internet, uh, so that we could work with these content owners to uh, offer a, a platform to stream. Or, or, so we started buying movies, we bought about uh, 50 movies and we quickly realized that some of the owners may not have it, may not even have the rights and then there was no way to track. So it was becoming sort of an acquisition nightmare and we started discovering that people, the content owners started having 10, 20, 30, 40 movies. So it was just going to take years for you to just put all the content together and, and the added uh, disadvantage was the way global Indians watch movies, the only way to watch for non-resident Indians to watch movies is to either buy a two dollar pirated DVD in an Indian grocery store or either or you know download it online on Rapid Share or Megavid. Those are really your real first you know sources. So DVD DVDs aren't released and to give you an idea, for instance in the United States about two and a half million non-resident legal Indians. Okay? I don't know what the illegal numbers are. So out of them uh, there are three separate metro areas, uh, DFW, New Jersey, and San Francisco. Uh, uh, there are about 25 theaters in all, so none of them can really do justice to all the movies that are released. And on an average, the movie takes about 200 grand. That's the asking price for an Indian producer to uh, make a movie available for theatrical release in, in the US, right? So that, that makes it extremely cost prohibitive, not just to release the movies, but also but, but people that are buying the rights for theater release to bring up the cost of that. So that's for new releases. And the movies that are actually released uh, are only from just 2% of the movies that are actually released in the theaters in India. So you have that. And you also have premium content, the, the content that can actually be on DVDs. So DVDs aren't released because uh, content owners fear that the DVDs can be ripped and you know, uh, posted online. So that's where uh, the current state of the market is. In addition to that, there's this huge library of old movies uh, that exist that people are people could discover, people could watch, but there really isn't a reliable source. So we built. So we wanted to go in and offer tech platform. So we won't go into that. So we have built a Facebook platform that allows viewers, Indian viewers across the world, to watch movies right in Facebook. There are going to be cool features like actor engagement and music reviews that they can watch directly on Facebook. So if you can just go quickly to the Facebook app and then just keep. Our laptop is a disaster. Thanks for all the testing. So 